there's a moment, we've all felt it, a moment where there's a great challenge. You're scared, you don't think you can handle it, you're desperate, and then you feel time slow down. Your heart beats faster, blood courses through your veins, you feel a new sense of energy as you're able to understand the world in a superhuman-like awareness in which answers come to us and we surprise ourselves. Later we look back and wonder what it was. How did we come to ace that job interview, that test, paint that canvas, write that song? Today we discuss what is creativity. We are continuing our discussion on Rollo May, his book The Courage to Create, as we continue to explore existential psychoanalytic themes. So today we're going to discuss, as I said, what is creativity? That's what it's got to be this time. Yeah. Sun starts to set and the moon should rise. Should rise. The painter, the scientist, the thinker. These are all forms of the artist. Somebody that creates something new that is able to, to experience this moment of energy and a vitalization in which they engage with the world. First of all, there's a few aspects of creativity I think that are very interesting. Rollo May makes a very important distinction. He notes that the creative is rarely, if ever, someone who fits into their own culture. Right? This is somebody that because of their, their disconnect from the status quo is able to see into the abyss. This does not often make somebody that easily complies with authority, uh, boring, machine-like operation. I'm looking at you, my fellow bullied kids, right? I mean, that that disconnect is, is, is central to who this individual is. But we all experience creativity. We all have these moments. May takes note of explaining this neurologically. And this is where I, I start the video of the creative act is actually an experience of the sympathetic nervous system. It is a moment of fight or flight. It is an engagement of our, of our core. It is a moment where we are in the same mode we are being chased by a giant predator through the forest. This is the creative moment. This is when our emotions are heightened. This is when we can feel everything. We can feel the breeze, we can smell things we never smelled before. Things like reason no longer exists, we don't want just gut instinct, right? I mean, this just moment of strike. We become almost this transformed version of ourself. Which is some discussed in mythology quite a bit. And so this moment is very interesting. And it's the reason why Rollo May ultimately rejects a pure behavioristic model of the human condition. He suggests that, that American psychology has an accent in behaviorism, which is something I'm sure I've talked about at length at this point. But this, this removal of the emotion and of the consciousness, of the will, of our existential being to, to dissect and understand the base atomic functions of the mind. But this robs of that true ethereal moment of which consciousness has reached its peak. Where the ancients would say we become one with the gods. Where we become truly creative. And, and it's not that rationality dissipates, but it becomes sharper when emotion is evolved. When the soul is connected in our being, we become more pointed. This is the nature of that system. Rest and digest, the parasympathetic system is not our, our peak self. It's homeostasis. And so, in this creative moment, what happens, right, when we're not thinking, right, but we still have the, the connection to all of our experiences, all of our past experiences and knowledge. It's the avatar state, if you've watched the show, right, a moment we are truly linked to all of our past knowledge and understanding, and it all is able to transcend ourselves. This is creativity. And it's sharpened by practice, by reason, by education, 
by developing that, that unconscious. But this is a moment where, where, where full awareness is able to dissipate and allow room for us to engage with the abstract. We're able to enter the forms, into the, the, the underlying unconscious that tethers us all together the collective unconscious. We're able to engage in the instinctual natures that exist primitively inside of us and connect us all. It's a moment where our shared history, our genetic memory is able to come to life in a singular moment. This is powerful. Since a great show on it, by the way. But it's, it's bringing that spirit to the surface to engage. This is creativity. And we see it dissected by many great minds, right? I mean, Rollo May talks about it here, but he references Sartre and Camus, Nietzsche. He references Kafka all the time, right? I mean, Kafka noticed this. This moment where we're able to do that. And this is the argument for an existential psychoanalytic approach to understanding the mind. Because ultimately the final question is without that soul, that moment, that engagement with the unconscious, what can we really do? So if you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, comment, any support means a lot. Uh, check out another video. These are coming out. Next week we will finish our final video with the creative act itself where we really dive into that moment and what it means as we finish up Rollo May. Other series coming out, we will soon be talking Walden. We'll be also hopping into Joseph Campbell's The Hero of a Thousand Faces and continuing The Witcher, which is a literary work where we've been exploring for quite a while now and we'll continue to progress with. Catch you next week.